Baylor's had a nice season. They come in at 7-2, uh, and two, still very much uh, in the thick of things in playing for a Big 12 championship game appearance, although they did take it um, on the road and take it on the chin against uh, Jerry Kill, the interim coach there at TCU, and the Horned Frogs 30-28, to 28, a game that you mentioned to me before we um, went live, Jason, that uh, Chandler Morris took the reins at quarterback for TCU, Threw up 461 yards, passing and 70 rushing uh, to lead TCU to the upset win. Yeah, I watched a, a good portion of that game, uh, Mark. I believe that was the I was in the I can't remember if that was 11 or 2:30 kick, but it was early in the day. Maybe it's a 2:30 kick, but yeah, watched a decent amount of that game and was really surprised. Baylor has been one of the best teams defensively in the league so far this year, and and for a guy that's not even played at all, first meaningful. Um, meaningful game that Chandler Morris has played either at OU or TCU on the year and to light them up as much as they did, as much as he did, um, that had another 70 yards on the ground, 71 yards on the ground. So over 500 yards total offense just from him specifically was very, uh, was surprising. I, I think the way that the way that Baylor has played throughout the year, um, and even on the offensive side, um, through a couple of uh, Jerry Bohannon has, has thrown a couple of interceptions. I think we had one interception um, leading into this game through two um, against TCU, I believe, or, or one, one or two. I know they had at least one that I remember. Um, so, uh, yeah, I mean, maybe Baylor's coming down to earth, as we mentioned, maybe just a little bit um, over the last, um, you know, over the last couple of games of the season. So um, I, I think – I was a little bit, you know, going back to the 11 a.m. kickoff, I was a little bit surprised. I kind of thought this would, with Baylor losing this game, this game might get pushed to the to the Fox 7 p.m. Um, kick instead of 11. So it ended up, didn't matter, I guess, what Baylor did. They Fox kind of had this game pegged for um, for 11 a.m. But, but, yeah, I think, you know, I, I actually – you know, no prediction or anything yet, but I, I like Oklahoma's chances a little bit more um, against Baylor that, than I did to start the week last week based on just kind of watching them. Um, they're they're, they're going to be sound. Um, you know, obviously at home makes a big difference for whatever reason. It just always seems to uh, make a big, big difference in terms of how, um, you know, some of these teams play, especially younger kids play. Um, they get a lot of, they get a lot of energy on the defensive side of the ball from the crowd. So, um, they'll they'll be uh, yeah they'll be ready and it'll be a big challenge for Oklahoma no doubt they're only a it's not really surprising that's I mean they're only a six point pick um, in this game as you mentioned Bo Hannon came in um, to the TCU game with exceptional numbers he did throw two picks against the Horn Frogs three touchdowns two hundred fourteen passing as they kept it on the ground most of the game and really didn't possess the ball much against TCU as they got behind in that game and only ran 56 plays. So 20 passes for Bohannon, only 36 rushes total. Abram Smith, one of the more underrated backs in college football. I don't hear a whole lot about him, but all he does is churn up big rushing games. 18 carries for a buck 25 mm -hmm. against TCU with a 48 yarder included. And Tyquan Thornton's a really productive wide receiver for the Baylor bears. Five catches for a buck 21 and two touchdowns uh, we hope to track down a Baylor writer to get uh, more perspective on the Baylor Bears and post those videos here at the voice of college football OU questions any questions did you let's see <laughs> so we've got uh, a couple people battling on Chandler versus Rattler there and, uh, of course, the scoring differential, the, the struggles of Oklahoma are well-documented and well-discussed and gain even more attention come Tuesdays now with the college football playoff rankings being released. But um, with Caleb Williams in the lineup, the scoring differential has widened. Yeah, it really has, Mark. And I think, I think a lot of that comes down to the fact that the running threat that um, Caleb Williams possesses out of the backfield. You know, we Oklahoma has ran for, you know, his first three starts ran for over 200 yards in each um, each of his starts. 
uh, did not do that against uh, Texas Tech. Texas Tech was was clearly loading the box, trying to stop the run, trying to trying to stop the quarterback run as well. Um, and you know, credit to Caleb Williams, credit to Oklahoma. They 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 quickly shifted their game plan and threw the ball a lot. Didn't even you know didn't even attempt to run the ball anywhere near at the same level that they had. Um, and then, as you know, Oklahoma, I mean, Caleb Williams threw six for six touchdown passes in that game. So you know that. That didn't necessarily work out for Texas Tech, but at the same time, Baylor has a lot better athletes than Texas Tech probably does through the first, you know, through all, through all three levels of the defense. Terrell Bernard is a terrific linebacker uh, for them. They're they're solid up front, so I think it'll be um, I think it'll be a different challenge. But yes, the point's very well taken that that Oklahoma has been um, much better on the offensive side of the ball, and I think the 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 threat of the QB run game has been the biggest part of that. Oklahoma Baylor, the Baylor Bears again at uh, seven and two. They dropped their second conference game against four wins, and there's a log jam amongst Baylor, Oklahoma State, Iowa State in particular for that um, second uh, berth in the Big Twelve Championship game. Oklahoma State with just the one loss, they beat West Virginia twenty-four to three, who was coming off a win against Iowa State in which they put up 38 points. So a nice showing by the Cowboys defense again in beating uh, West Virginia 24 to three. 